In this video, we're going to look at these videos on page 10 of the 7.2 slides. Uh, this first problem, a fair die is rolled and the number that falls uppermost is observed. Determine the probability distribution for this experiment. Well, the probability distribution for this experiment is pretty simple because we've got six options and each are equally likely since it's a fair die. One, two, three, four, five, six are our options and each of them has a probability of one sixth. So there is our probability distribution. We might draw some columns and you know label this. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head we labeled this so this we could call this x and this is p of x probability of x but either any which way this is approximately where what we're going to see so that was a pretty simple one um in our second problem here we go Everbright is developing a high amperage, high capacity battery as a source for powering electric cars. Um, the table below shows data obtained in 200 test runs, and each run was made with a fully charged battery. Um, here we have the distance covered uh, is greater than zero and less than or equal to 50. There were four times that happened. Um, the uh, from 50 to 100, 10 times that happened, 100 to 150, 30 times, 150 to 200 happened 100 times, 200 to 250 happened 40 times, and greater than 250 happened um, 16 times. So first we're supposed to describe an appropriate sample space for this experiment. Well, we can do that with a um, with set notations, probably the easiest way. And we would just say that x is the set of values such that 0 is less than x is less than or equal to, uh, actually it can be any value greater than 0. Back, if I look at that again, yeah, it has to be greater than zero. So, but we have no maximum given. Uh, presumably, it's not going to go a thousand miles on a single battery, but this is a good start for us. Now, as for our probability distribution, we're going to have, again, x and p of x. And we're going to have what? Um, six, uh, six entries on the left here. Zero is less than X is less than or equal to 50. 50 less than X less than or equal to 100. Um, 100 less than X less than or equal to 200 to 150 rather. 150 to uh, 200, 200 to 250, and finally, X is greater than 250. Now we're told exactly how many times each of these events occurs. And we know that it happens out of 200 times. So four out of 200 is the number of times that the car goes less than 50 miles, less than or equal to 50 miles. So that could be our probability, but we'd usually prefer to write it in terms of a um, fraction in lowest terms. So that'd be two one hundredths or just 0 0.02, which is again two one hundredths. We are told that going from 50 to 100 miles, um, or possibly kilometers, it doesn't specify in this table that I've set up, but it might have in the original problem. Um, that happens 10 times out of 100. 
or to, out of 200, which is the same as five out of 100, which is the same as one in 20, or five hundredths of the time. From 100 to 150, that occurs 30 times. So we could write that as 15 out of 100, or 3 out of 20, or 0 0.15. From 150 to 200, we've got 100 out of 200, which is, of course, one half. And we could also write that as 0 0.50, 50 hundredths. Uh, for 200 to 250, that happens 40 times. 40 out of 200 is the same as one fifth or 0 0.20. And finally, from 250 on, we've got that 16 times. 16 out of 200 is the same as 8 out of 100 or 0.08. That is it for this video. If you have any questions, please get in touch.